Exa has always had two main tools for making sounds and performing music. The strike tool plays notes that ring out for a few seconds, and the mute tool stops them. This was great for playing piano keys, strumming guitar strings, or hitting drums. Exa has always been limited to percussive playing styles, until now. This violin style bow tool and this distance based proximity tool are brand new in the latest Exa release. The bow tool makes sound as it moves through a ringer, where the volume increases as the bow moves faster. By default, the bow reacts to motion in all directions. By squeezing the controller's trigger, you can use a more violin like playing style where the motion along the bow's length is all that matters. The bow tool can play many ringers at the same time, can create both smooth and choppy notes, and uses the sound's built-in volume decay upon release. The prox tool makes sound based on its distance to a ringer, where the volume increases as it gets closer. By default, all ringers within the tool's radius will start to play. By squeezing the controller's trigger, you can limit the tool to play only the nearest ringer. These new tools play sustained notes, but only for sounds that provide looping audio data. For other sounds, the tools control the volume of the sound as it plays through. To better visualize the new tools, the cursor trails are now smarter. The colors blend between notes, and the brightness is affected by the volume and duration of the notes. Exa needed tons of internal changes to support the new tools, including the ability to record and save performances with sustained notes. The loop interface visualizes some of these changes. Previously, the chart showed a simple triangle for each ringer hit. Now, it displays each note with a waveform style, where the shape tells you how long each note lasts, how loud it is, and whether it fades in, fades out, ends abruptly, or varies in volume. A note's audio information also affects its display. The decay time of a sound changes the length of the note's tail, which you can see when switching sounds or changing pitches. The duration of a non-looping sound changes the length of the note's body, which you can see especially well with different drums within a drum kit. Behind the scenes, Exa has a brand new audio system that bypasses Unity Audio and talks directly to the OS instead. This provides better performance, achieves lower latency, and fixes the popping sounds that occurred in previous versions. Ringers now switch into a semi-transparent mode if they're not playable. This can occur when the ringer's sound font file couldn't be found, or when the sound font doesn't provide a sound for the selected note.